All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Some more crazy machine flower rearing. 52 out of 102. Hmm, these are the first flowers ever to smell of smoked ham. However, if they don't get enough light, it will always be a waste. It will all have been a waste of precious time. So I need to turn on lights is what it's saying. So this, this, boom, boom. So this is all energized. Excuse me. Well, I need to get something to switch this. Hold on. Okay, so that one's gonna turn on. Why am I so jittery? Hold on a second. We're gonna find out why this game is running so jittery like. Okay, not 100% certain why everything is so jittery, but whatever. We're gonna make this happen. So, what if I. If I connected this to this. Does that do anything? Oh, the light was on and then it turns off. Okay, wait a minute. So, let's just connect this to this. So, that light will stay on now. Uh, I don't know if that had anything to do with that uh, that lamp I did. Is this ball going to eventually come down and hit this? Let's find out. Oh, it switches it off too. Why? Why do you do that? <laughs> Why are you so mean? So if I just do this, does that turn on the other two when it gets to the end? And then this is the one I have to somehow deal with why this switch is off? Yes. So... I've essentially... Oh... If I have... If I get rid of this rope... What oh Can I balloon this weight away somehow? I mean, is he just going to drag it down? Oh, it's next to it. Interesting. It still turns it off. Maybe if I put it over here... It, does, it swings it kind of in a different direction. So that'll set it over there, but the problem is... It's still probably going to hit the switch, right? Uh, we will watch it slowly roll and find out if it hits the switch. I wonder what the magnet would be for. It might not actually flip the switch, and it just literally might be a matter of... Nope, it does. <laughs> it somehow has the force of switch flipping. So... Uh, let's, what, hmm... Do I need... Well, I, I guess I do because this is plugged into that and I can't take that out. So I do need that. What on earth could I do to make this ball? There's another balloon. Would it help to move this ball or something? No, it's just going to float up real quick. Um... This could easily go to that, and that'll just hold it there. But unless unless that somehow shoots this thing across, maybe I just have to get it in just the right angle that it swings it so it moves. I mean, that's what my guess would be right now. It's going to be something like that. But obviously, this can get trashed. Obviously, just it's going to swing in a slightly different way, but that's not. So that's going to block it, and it doesn't just like turn back on. What would the magnet do in this particular case? Would it do anything, I guess is the question. doesn't seem to actually do anything and the pool ball obviously okay oh, I just use the magnet as a hold on a second let's move this over here see if I can get the magnet somehow as like a, a hook that's gonna be really hard though because that thing is in the way Oh, 
Oh god. So I can't just use the magnet as a hook, I don't think, because Come on. Because it just won't go to the right spot because of that. That's going to make it bounce over. How would I make this thing bump just right? Maybe like that? I don't, I don't have any idea. It's too low. I'm trying to get an angle on it where it slows it down enough to just like drop. That was obviously not it. Speaking of which, I got—I do have to plug this thing back in, though. Shoot! Such a tight window. That's not it. Oh, so close. Okay, guys, I think I'm on to something here. I uh, placed the magnet in a bunch of different spots, and I finally got it to start attracting the weight. I don't know why I have problems with that. But uh, this isn't going to work. But I think if I get this thing in just the right spot, it'll it'll pull it in such a way that it'll give it enough gap for the ball to go down, maybe? That's my hope. It seems to just pull with like the same exact strength no matter where it's at. Hmm. Way back here. Oh, that's more of a gap. Oh, come on. Oh. Maybe this isn't going to work. That sucks. I thought I was sure this was it. Oh, shoot. Um. It's as far back as it goes. Yeah, I can pull it with different... I need to bounce off of it at just the right angle. Maybe churning this? Oh, that does. That changes the... Oh, God, that wouldn't have worked anyway, though. It changes the way it um it attracts. <gasps> Success! Yes! That was, that was tough. Um, stop, the balloon is disappearing with the cage. Shoot it down and catch the black billiard ball as well. So the balloon's going away with the cage, and I need, so where's it going to exactly end up? So it gives me a lot of time because this is going to... Okay, I think I just got to basically make something that hits this trigger. Which is probably... Does TNT explode? I, well, I mean it explodes. Does it, like, ex move? So if I do this, why would there be a... Oh, wait a minute. I think I get it. So if I do something... Uh, no, there's no rope. Okay, wait a minute here. There's no rope. Don't I have to pull on this thing? To make it... Go? Or can I just hit it with a rope? Or a uh, rope, a ball. You can't just hit it. Well, maybe will this bounce up and hit that thing? Oh, you know what? Do I have to... Ah, I think I get it. Do I have to use this and make this like a ramp for it? Like, go straight up there. I have no idea if that's going to work. Now, unfortunately, it's one of those levels you have to wait a long time to see if it's actually going to work or not. Okay, it just like shot it straight across. Maybe, maybe it just hitting it will trigger this. I don't know. It sucks that the way again. Speed up option, please. This one? No, that's exit. No, it like 
It spun right around that thing. Um. I mean, what if I just, what if I put it there? I don't know. I just go straight up in the air. Um, so what if... Can I make this thing, like, rest here? Okay, it is resting there. Now we'll let's force it up that way? I don't even know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is how you can trigger one of these. I made it sort of work um, after a much trial and error because I couldn't get this to work before I put this yellow thing right on top of this handle and when I started the level it actually triggered it back a little bit so I moved it to the side and realized it actually will fire off the arrow like this which is good but the cage misses so let's see yeah the cage misses I need to go to the right I do have this magnet so I'm assuming I have to pull the, come on, thank you. I have to pull the cage? I have no idea like how close it has to be, how much it's gonna pull it. It seems like it's gonna pull it way too much because it's so close already. I just needed to pull a little bit. Is it gonna pull it all? Oh, that was perfect. Excellent. <laughs> this evening I had my course in rhythmic sports gymnastics with Madame Curie. I mustn't be late for that. So place the two balls quickly on my wooden shelf. I wasted enough time. So I just need to what, move them in? Yeah, I need to move them into the right. Okay. Let's get you to plug into you. Actually, I'll need two of them. So same thing over here. Wait, what is this one? This is a power generator. Oh, that's a power generator. Never mind. I can just use... Oh, I only have one battery. So, okay, I need to use... I think I only need one of those. I need this. So, essentially, it's going to be this to there. Belt it this to there. That should be one side, right? That's the wrong way. So, I need... I only have two of these, though, huh? And that to there. That should twist that in the right direction. So that one's good. Um, so now on this side, I need a power generator. Crap. How do I... Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this thing? Power distributor. Power only runs when the contacts are connected. I don't think I want one of those. What is this? Amper power shows that the power is running between the two sockets. Okay. So wait, I have a light. Let me guess. Shut. You have no up, idea what to Dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. Um. Huh. How many solar panels do I have? I have two. So maybe what I need is. No, because how would I plug in two of them? So if I did one of these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Boom. Let's do a light to both these solar panels. Take this to that. This to that. So there's the one side. Let's make sure that works. Yep, that works. Okay. Um, then this. I don't need the power generator then. I actually just need another one of these. And 
and let's hope that this one drives it the right direction. It should, in theory, drive it the right direction, because the other side's the opposite direction. There we go. Easy peasy. It's domino night tonight. If I know you, you won't break and topple the domino record, but at least you should be able to prove that you are capable of getting the dominoes on the left and right into their respective boxes. Okay, where does this ball go? Nowhere. So essentially, we need a domino here. Let's make sure this one gets hit first. It does not. That one gets hit now. So now we start the chain. Is that too far and how does this fall? So I don't think that's going to fall how I need it to, though. Maybe I need... A th oh, I don't want to have to triple up on this. I need this to actually hit this top layer, probably, right? Yeah, so that should actually hit both the top layer, which could then... Oh, no, I don't need that. I need that to happen over here, so never mind. Um, actually, let's clean this up then. Trash, trash. That won't hit, right? Nope. But this needs to go back here, and that should fall. Yes, so this can then stand here. Okay, perfect. Let's see where this falls. Okay, that should hit. I wonder if that can hit one to go each direction. That one's going to start falling on its own, actually, so... That's kind of perfect. Uh, let's see. Oh, that didn't hit it enough. Oh, crap. That's not going to hit it enough, is it? Oh, that's not going to hit it enough either. Okay, there's one. Now I just need this one to get hit enough to fall down. Come on, hit it more. How are you not hitting it enough? That hit it like square, man. Square. How are you not hitting this guy enough? Now it hits it enough, but it won't. It's not far enough to actually get there. Shoot. And I'm out of dominoes. Can I clean this up at all? Hmm. I wonder if I can... I don't even need that basketball. Screw the basketball. So let's go like this. And like this. Screw you, basketball. I don't need you. Yeah. Love it. Tomorrow's bulky object collection day. The box is still full of old experimental parts. Get rid of them, please. Get the boxes into the hopper. The city refuses collection or refuse collection men will see to the rest. Uh just this box. Obviously, this goes here. It's the only spot for it. This is going to be turning. Uh, it's a fan. So what if I just connect those like that? It's not going to be enough. So can I put a basketball right there? No. Hmm. So I almost need to, I need to squeeze this in here where it's going to be below. Not a, there we go. Except for that wasn't enough. Oh, there's two basketballs. It's a multi-basketball ability. 
Well, how do I get them to fall in the right spot? So now how do I get another one in there? It's not gonna be right. Well, it's gonna bounce to the back. How do I fit all these in here? I was just testing something. Um. Oh, wait, what are these? Wait a minute. Let's give it some little ball bearings to roll on. I don't even need the basketballs. Barely need the basketballs. I think I'm on the right track. How's that? Too much. There it goes. Whew. Oh dear, Sarah, it'll be dark here in the cellar. How the dickens am I supposed to find the instrument for my physics course? Would be asking too much of you to switch on the light. Okay, obviously, boom, boom. And this is gonna kinda need to drag this guy. <laughs> that was like the dumbest, easiest level. Uh, these stupid buckets continually mess up the blast off. Test of the newly developed part. New, newly developed party rocket. You know what to do. Uh, what? Oh, that snipped the wire. So, can't, can I just hold this thing to the edge? I don't, why is that magnet up top not doing anything? Like you're proving my point there, bucket. Why did that not work? Why'd that not work? I don't get it. I don't get the magnets in this game. I really don't. I just put a bunch of them, like to hold it up. Is that what this is about? Just lining up a bunch of magnets? That was like helping. Come on, come on. Oh my God, please move. Thank you. It seems to have helped for a second. Maybe I'll just put more up at the top. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Please, please no. Come on. Oh my God, these controls are horrible. It almost held it. Let me just throw a bunch of magnets on here. <laughs> Got it. With enough magnets, you can do anything. Haha, -ha, sucker. Who put those just scissors right there over the fuse line? What a jerk. Pew. Good 
Continue. Something is wrong with the belt. It must be given the once over. And you're the one for that job, okay? Okay. I don't know what's wrong with the belt. What belt? Um. Well, these things blow each other up. I guess that's something I'll find out here momentarily. Come on. Okay, that works. I like that. Let's see if that's going to blow up the one next to it. Yep. Didn't know it was going to work like that, but that works. Perfect. So, I guess I probably should hook up that stuff first. Well done. 60. This time, the billiard ball is not to go into the pocket. Quite the opposite, in fact. You have to get it over the pocket. Come, come. Apply yourself to the task at hand. I gotta get it over the pocket? So, this pocket, huh? Interesting. I somewhat see. So, let's try. Well, there's three of them. I was going to say, let's try to just go like this. Actually, I want it a little bit less. And then hook a rope up to this so it can't go down. See, so it doesn't hit. Hmm. Let's, uh... Where's a, where's a green? Give me a green. That's not a good green. That might be a good green. That might be okay. Okay, it's just not enough though. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I think I'm on the right track, but I think what I need to do is... That. Close. Oh, you know what? How about I... Haha. -ha. Let's just do this. And... Same with... Oh, same with these two. Or three. Well, I can only use two of them, though. That. And that. And do the same thing here. Just be like... So it's got just a surface to go across. That seems logical. Oh, I only have two ropes, though. Interesting. Only two ropes. But there we go. I don't even know this if I needed those ropes. Really tricky. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see what this one does first. And we will see you in the next episode of The Crazy Machines. Though this one looks relatively easy. It looks relatively easy. Let's uh, let's see if I can do it. I'm assuming I just need to go like this. Bloop. Something of this sort. It's just getting the right, just the right angle on it. I would I would guess. So I'll mess with this for a minute. Probably finish this one up and then come back to you guys in the next episode. Oh, so close. There it is. Swish. All right, guys. See you next time.